Alone, a young person runs fast. With an elder, slow, but together they can go far. Taking a trip alone may seem swift, but going on a long successful journey requires the right partner. When nations and continents in partnership embark on journeys together, growth, development and prosperity is possible. Such is the partnership between Korea and Africa. Africa's vast potential in people, in know-how, in resources and much more, coupled with Korea's openness, technical and financial expertise have been recipes for an impactful partnership. The journey and partnership began about four decades ago. The lesson from that is that vision matters, political commitment matters, consistency matters. This inspiration has led to action and we see that action here today with the 2023 Korea-Africa Economic Cooperation Ministerial Conference. We come together through this conference to continue building a broad-based partnership for Africa's development, to craft state strategies and increase business and trade opportunities. This conference is also the product of a partnership that began in 1980. Since joining the African Development Fund in 1980 and the African Development Bank in 1982, Korea has become one of the African Development Bank's most active and generous partners. It has supported the African Development Bank's high five priorities, focusing on sustainable resource management, infrastructure, human development, information and communication technologies, knowledge sharing on Korea's development experience, green growth and agriculture. 20 years later in 2006, this partnership took a leap forward with the creation of the Korea-Africa Economic Cooperation Trust Fund. It became the African Development Bank's largest bilateral trust fund. It has supported projects worth more than $1 billion. They include an irrigation project in Mali, a road in Madagascar, and a water resources project in Kenya. Over the years, development has continued. In 2021, a $600 million co-financing energy investment framework facility was established to focus on energy infrastructure and renewable energy solutions in Africa. Today, Korea remains committed in particular to human development and technological training. This is especially critical now as changing populations and changing environments are bringing up new challenges like climate change and water scarcity that require new solutions. Voilà, donc euh, la solution c'est de c'est de faire une transition d'une agriculture conventionnelle classique à une agriculture dite aujourd'hui agriculture intelligente. Korea has been working with Tunisian farmers to develop an agricultural drone program combined with artificial intelligence. The project increases farmers' productivity and income with enhanced food security. It also contributes to climate change adaptation, reducing water usage by 15%. This technology can really bring more advantages to the African African continent. These projects and more are examples of what the Korea-Africa Economic Cooperation has done to redefine Africa's development journey. The Korea-Africa Cooperation Ministerial Conference has been at the forefront of Korea-Africa partnerships for the last 17 years. It has acted as a platform to identify key areas for economic cooperation and to explore business opportunities. This journey continues today as we open the 7th Korea-Africa Cooperation Ministerial Conference. The road ahead may seem long, but it's clear. We will continue our partnership in earnest. We shall keep thinking creatively. We will continue to work towards a sustainable future for all Africa.